Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're going to be talking about the Surface Pro 7. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, this channel is for people who use their tablets for note-taking, drawing, creative processes. If you are someone who likes those type of things, then this is the channel for you. So let's jump right into what the Surface Pro 7 is most likely going to be. It's most likely going to be a same size, slightly larger screen, slightly smaller bezel, version of the same thing, USB-C, very, very likely Thunderbolt 3, uh, Intel Ice Lake chipset, not Comet Lake, with a Iris Plus graphics um, option, which would be wonderful, better battery life, a slightly brighter screen instead of uh, around 460, around a little over 500, which means it'll be better and easier to use outdoors, the new chipset from Microsoft increases battery life, they said, up to 25 hours. Uh, I think that's for a different type of device, not this with the, um, the high uh, resolution screen and bright screen. So more than likely, this is going to be around 18, 19 hours of, you know, uh, battery use. So, <laughs> yeah, those numbers are so wildly off in reality, but... You know, like if you're using the computer 200 nits to watch um, something on Netflix or browse the web, then you might get close to that. Uh, very likely, the processor is going to be uh, ranging from the Core i5, uh, like 1030G7 CPU up to, uh, I think it is, let's see, uh, the i7 1065G7 processor. I think those are going to be options. There might be a low-end processor that gives you a few more options in there, but that's the uh, basic line. I'm thinking these are actually going to be a little bit more expensive than our last model um, by about $100 per option. So for artists, what does this mean? And you're probably going to have a nicer machine that you can charge easily in a number of different situations because of the USB-C or the Thunderbolt 3 charging ports. Uh, means that you're going to have better, uh, lower latency, less lag drawing. I, I would absolutely be thrilled to see some improvements in the pen and touch. We've been uh, two years since a pen update. So a two-button pen would be fantastic. Um, I know all this stuff is already done, so <laughs> sharing these wants and wishes is really uh, not going to change this version. But a two-button pen would be wonderful. With the uh, the new chipset, there's supposed to be a feature that allows you to uh, isolate the resolution into the focal point using AI. Uh, so what that means is if the computer thinks that you're looking at a certain section of the screen, that it can drop the resolution in the other areas of the screen so that the entire computer runs faster and smoother. I think for a number of different reasons, this is a very compelling, interesting uh, technology that is uh, something that I think they will actually implement uh, soon, maybe not here. LTE built into the device as a standard feature I don't think is likely just because I don't think there's a big enough need for it and it's something that people have to pay to use and pay for if they don't use. So I, I think there's less of a chance that that's going to be built in. There's a chance that the surface connector might be uh, deprecated and we may end up seeing a uh, magnetic USB-C charging cable that comes with the uh, Surface Pro 7, which I personally would be very happy for. I think there's gonna be very nominal changes to the keyboard. Uh, I think that people are very happy with how that works. If they do something gimmicky, I, I don't think that's um, really a terrible thing since the keyboards, there's you can choose whichever one you want. So you can have a gimmicky one that costs extra, uh, hopefully a Bluetooth Friday. I would pay extra for Bluetooth Friday. Um, I do have a Bluetooth keyboard for my Surface Go that I will be doing a review of shortly, and it cost half as much. So I know that the possibility of having a good Bluetooth keyboard is there and would love for them to uh, take advantage of that. Um, I'll put links to the Surface Go and Surface Pro 6 keyboards in the description. The addition of a new pen with two buttons would be fantastic, something that removes the jitter, like a improvement in the technology. So we have a jitter-free line would be fantastic. 
I don't think that we're going to see any dedicated graphics cards. I don't think that we're going to see uh, 8K. I don't think we're going to see any type of folding display. Um, I would love to see the option of um, the keyboard connector changing to Thunderbolt 3 so that we can use a um, custom keyboard that has a graphics card built in or maybe some extra battery um, storage in there as well. That would be wonderful. Again, highly doubt that, but if they gave us the option of using the Thunderbolt 3 connector for the keyboard, that would open up a lot of possibilities for third-party vendors as well as Microsoft themselves. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with what Thunderbolt 3 means, it means that you can plug in an external graphics card. So you could get a 10 or 2080 um, NVIDIA graphics card and plug it into the side, into the port through, they have these uh, little boxes that have the, the graphics cards in them. Usually four or 500 bucks, but when you're considering the difference between having a Surface Book 2 or Surface Book 3, and the cost that that would be as opposed to having just a, an external graphics card for the Surface Pro 7, there's some wonderful benefits to uh, this option. I think there's a high likelihood that everything's going to be switching towards the xCloud um, where you're streaming the gaming experience to your, your tablet as opposed to just uh, dedicated graphics on the machine anyway. So this is probably a non-issue. I'd like to hear what things you guys wish or want to be in the Surface Pro 7. So in the comments below, please share what things you want. Uh, again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. This channel is for people who use their tablets and <laughs> especially if you use them for creative processes like drawing or note taking. This is a great channel for you to be subscribed to. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. And until next time, stay creative.